New York City. All right, so I'm here for work. Holy cow, that's bright. Who travels around playing pool? Maybe me one day, but that's not what this trip is about. Oh, but I will be playing pool right now. <laughs> this is such good lighting in here though. Amazing. JFK, you ever been? Cold out here in New York. You know what would be dope? If they had a pool table. I'm definitely gonna look around. Back with another rack. New York City edition. I'm here on business doing some filming, but you know I gotta get it in. I was here back in November with a friend and we were here just taking pics and getting away from the daily grind. With this trip, I'm here solo, filming something for my biggest client and I decided to stay an extra day for you guys. I can't bring you along for the shoot, but after it's wrapped, you and me, sure no one's on the elevator that's how you do this doors closed yeah um, I saw my contacts coming up they just came in had a drink with me and uh, we're good I got my I got the game plan for tomorrow um, looks like I'll be done probably around 5 5 p.m. this way about 5 p.m. tomorrow and uh, that's all. 24 hours later. It's 11.30. I spent the day doing my job and I'm gonna spend the night doing my other job. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right, well, I'm gonna film my match. It's my, my game as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. Excellent. No, it's not. <laughs> Drop off. We are at Rex, ladies and gentlemen. In Long Island, I don't know, like, the particular area. There's my Uber driver. <laughs> she was cool. All right, let's go up in here. What's up, boss? What's up? What you got going on? Trying to what? Shoot some pool. You got a camera? Yeah. You're taking pictures of yeah, other people? Yeah, YouTube pool channel. Okay, but you're not taking pictures of... No, me. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Are you security? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. Where do I go to get balls and stuff? Oh, okay. All right, guys. Here we are. This place looks pretty amazing. Tables everywhere, the vibes are everywhere. You got the bar. All right, so uh, JR, the security guy, is kind of giving me a little trouble. Says I can't film here, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do what we do. <laughs> Sorry for the low angle, but I'm not trying to make myself too obvious right now. They're putting me in the corner, so we do what they say, right? A little dirty, but you know, we can manage. Okay, first off, Rax is cool. All right, but they had to give me the spiel. This is awkward. Let me raise it up. So they wanted to just let me know not to film anybody else. And I know that. Like, again, you know, this is what I do for a living. It's a big deal, you know. So I'm not going to do that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to play somebody and show you guys our match. I don't think anybody's gonna come over here. For one, they're doing league. Two, it's just like I said, it's people hanging out with 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 their own friend group. So looks good. Looks real good. Back with another rack from Racks in Long Island. Um, I extended my trip, like I said in the video, an extra day. This is the night after my shoot, and man, I got out there. I got out to Rax, um, 
JR, really cool dude, the bouncer at the door. Uh, he wasn't really giving me trouble. He was just doing his job. I respect that. And then Josh coming over to, uh, you know, give me the talk about, hey, don't go yielding that or wielding that camera around. And I understand and I respect that. Those guys are really cool. Rax is a, a cool spot. I wish I would have got more B-roll of the spot. And that's that's kind of the purpose of me going out to, uh, well, it's two things. I would like to play a local when I go out to other pool halls. And I would like to uh, showcase the pool hall for others who are traveling or, you know, um, maybe people in the area that happen to come across my video and want somewhere to play, need somewhere to play. All right, here we go. I almost had a run out there if you've been paying attention to the game, the 15. I just hit it too thick, did not cut it enough. I would have had the 11 up there, maybe would have a little bit of bottom uh, going down to the eight in the corner. So here I'm going to attempt a bank shot. <laughs> Beautiful bank. You know how it is when you don't play against anybody and you just, you're really just lining up. Like it's almost like all your training presents itself in the moment and you just fire and you make those banks like that. I did miss the six down there. Puts me back on the stripes. 11 in the corner. The 15, you guys know I like the bottom. You know I like the draw shots. I'm gonna draw this out for the eight. And incredible action from the house stick. <laughs> like, <laughs> really good action off of that thing. I searched high and low for like the best house, house cue in there. And they've got some good ones. They've got some good house sticks for you to use, so. Um, if you're there on business or, you know, visiting family or whatever, uh, you don't have to bring your sticks. Rags has good house sticks. All right, so working the solids here. Um, clean three ball to the corner. Greased it. Do I want the seven or the six? I do want to read some comments from the last video. I appreciate you guys giving me that warm reception. Um of that video trying to trying to not abuse my draw like I do right here actually it looked like I hit low on that but I didn't anyway comment sensei Nate plays pool I pinned your comment man you you left some good stuff I'll I'll put it on the screen here if anybody has time to read it I don't know if you will have time because I'm only showing one rack but you mentioned uh, you gave good tips on drawing in general and also breaking and the difference between uh, what the guys were doing at the Premier League uh, with the nine on the spot. And I think that's what the pros do anyway. When we watch match room matches, the nine is on the spot as opposed to the one being on the spot um, on a bar box like what we what I do back home. Uh, they were playing league here. So uh, some of y'all play. Ooh, I overcut that. Some of y'all play on eight foot tables, nine foot tables for league. You've mentioned it in the comments, and I'm jealous, very jealous. Appreciate you, Sensei Nate. Uh, SC Pitcher, I like the commentary. You show a little bit of the flavor of APA League. It's not just about the pool game, equal parts social, meeting good people, and having fun. Love that comment. Extreme cut here on the two to get on the eight off of one rail. Eight balls going in, guys, and that's it. Appreciate that, SC Pitcher. Um, keep the comments going, guys. This is a different video, but I just wanted to show my time in New York. I've got a second part coming up. Stay tuned. Shout out to uh, Rax, Pool Room, the managers, and uh, JR, the bouncer. <laughs> I had a good time, man. Let me get these Oreos up in there and get up out of here. Yo, look at the Oreos. I can't eat all of this. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try though. Hey, bro. Mike? Yes. Oh. From Ocala, Florida, Billy Young, go ahead and. Oh, he's going to try and close us out. What's he going to do, folks? Here he goes. Takes uh, 14 practice things. Oh, right in the corner.